The landmark Scopes Monkey Trial in the mid-1920s was Tennessee's first encounter with the fledgling American Civil Liberties Union. ACLU cooperating attorney Clarence Darrow defended teacher John Scopes in a challenge to a controversial state law banning the teaching of evolution. The trial made many Americans aware of the ACLU for the first time. In April 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King came to Memphis to support striking sanitation workers. This historic telegram documents the ACLU securing representation for Dr. King's efforts after the city denied him the right to stage a march. ACLU cooperating attorney Mike Cody was in court on behalf of Dr. King when they received word that he had been assassinated. That same year, 1968, the Tennessee affiliate of the ACLU was born. Before long, Tennessee's only group defending the Constitution and the Bill of Rights took on the issues of the time. Over the years, the ACLU successfully challenged police spying on citizens engaged in protected political speech, established that the state constitution protects a woman's right to privacy when it comes to abortion, spearheaded a campaign against racial profiling, challenged viewpoint discrimination, which ended the censorship of LGBT websites in public schools, and for the first time ever, got sexual orientation added as a protected category under state laws. The ACLU of Tennessee became a force to contend with during those formative years, not just responding to crises, but strategically and creatively working to expand rights. It did so through advocacy, public education, coalition building, litigation, and legislative lobbying. The ACLU of Tennessee is an affiliate of the National American Civil Liberties Union, which had its beginnings in 1920. Today, it has more than 500,000 supporters nationally, with affiliates in all 50 states.